And then my beautiful badge is Messy Coder back again with another Asset Store review. This time it is the Fantastic Village Pack from Tidal Flask Studios. It's hand painted goodness and it's coming on a 50% sale on the Unity Asset Store. Do I like it? Should you get it? Well, ask these wonderful people what they think. Well, don't ask him about his little doggy because that's still a sad story. Sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. Can I have some bread, please? Um, and uh, a beetroot, maybe? We are inside Unity playing about with the Fantastic Village pack from Tidal Flask. It is a huge pack and it also comes with the Fantastic Food pack thrown in for free. So if you're hungry, well, you get this pack, you get them both. There are 83 modular building assets, which we'll take a deeper dive in in a second. 14 pre-assembled buildings, 247 unique prop assets, 90 food, talking about food, and one tree, bush, and grass asset. All of the models, they say, have a custom light map UV in the second channel and colliders where needed. Now the poly count for the props, it says here, range from 8 all the way up to 1,604 tribes. That's a big range. And the poly count for food is 8 to 400. I wonder what the 8s are. And the buildings are 42 to, wait for it, 2,568. Not sure why they need to tell us these ranges, but they are nonetheless we're playing about with the daytime scene they've given us three scenes to play with a daytime scene a nighttime scene and also they've given us a nice layout of all of the different items you get in this pack its normal price is fifty dollars actually one shot one cent shy of fifty dollars which is 49.99 and it's coming on the sale fifty percent off on the unity asset store ending soon it is one of these weekly sales that Unity are doing over on the summer. So if you're lucky enough to get it on the sale, you're getting an absolute bargain. I am a big fan of this art style, I have to say. And this pack looks like it really works well with six games pack as well. They've got a fantasy pack over six games. So you bundle these two together, you've got a massive array of different buildings and props. I love the fact that we've got these little <laughs> look at that one there, it's going to say, look at that, they're not all the same, they're not all the same, these carrots and these vegetables. Do we have rotted versions? Do we have rotting versions of these? Well, we're going to check in a second. Um, over here we've got some more vegetables growing, we've got a little fire going on here. Wow, I like the texture we've got going on. That's really nice. So just having a fly through, a phone in my extended fly cam. It's not included in this pack. Do we have any interiors? Let's smash our face through the door and see. No, we don't have an interior on that building. These are, some of these are modular building assets, it says. So we're going to really delve into that to see what it means by modular building assets. Are they one-sided modular building parts? It's a, it's a windmill. Oh, wow. It's a windmill. It's a pop up toaster. We go over here. We've got barrels. As always, you need barrels and crates if you've got any pack. And there's a good way to see here the quality of his cartoon wood. I like the hand painted, cartoon stylized look and feel to this pack. And as we're flying around, it really does feel like you've got a load in this pack because I'm flying around and it really doesn't feel like it's the same buildings over and over. There's a lot going on. Well, we've even got a little. Um, River going through here. Got a wanted poster. Wanted! Oh my word. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to be careful with this. Don't use this in your game. And I'm not going to do my impressions. Because I'll be in trouble. Or I'm going to say, oh, there is no spoon. Where's my dog? Oh, totally. And here are some beautiful flowers. Let's crash in through this door. Ah, well, hoping one of these is going to have. Look at, I'm loving the roofs. Loving the roofs. It's hand painted, cartoony style. Need to decide what kind of characters are going to fit into this pack because this is a buildings and props pack. You get no characters in here. So bear that in mind. We get no characters in this pack. 
Oh wow, I'm loving the flags. Nice touch. I hate it when the people give us flags and they don't put the cloth simulation on it. You will notice this has got a box collider. Which I like the fact that we don't have mesh colliders on everything. It's gone through and put box colliders. And sometimes it isn't just thrown a box collider, it's put a few down. This here, we do have a um, mesh collider on this one. Where appropriate, it says. Do you remember what it says? Where appropriate. Sometimes it's a, it's a selection. It's a set of box colliders laid out. Sometimes it's just one box collider. Sometimes it's a box collider like this, which I'm not keen on. Because when you do that, you can't have it, so an object pass through these open areas. I would have liked this to be, if you want to do box collider, give us a series of one box collider, two box collider, three box collider, four. That's how you meant to do it. That's what I would say. Now we're in the nighttime scene and things are looking a lot more romantic. I really do like this. I like this pack a lot. If you're doing a cartoony style game, fantasy game, hand painted cartoon style, this is a great pack for you. And I think it would work well with the bit gems or the mesh tint characters. Not sure if I would, would I do fantasy as in orcs and stuff? Or would I do uh, medieval kind of you know, beasts and bumpkins type characters going around here? You could do this as some kind of like third person or RTS really as well. And it's nice enough to even as you get down over here. This kind of level, uh, and if like a third person, or even a first person, you can get away with on this. I want to see the buildings. So if we pop over to the buildings, and we see what is what does it mean by modular building? So this is pre-made, a pre-made house. If we go over into the assets scene. Here are the modular building parts that it speaks of. So over here, we can make a little roofy bit. So okay, this side, this is where you want to be because it's one, they're one-sided. Being over here and looking at them is not really going to help anyone. So you've got windows, roofs, different root hubs of roofs, doors. Where's the actual main? We've got the frames as well. See, looking for, oh, here we go. Over here, wall parts, yeah. So these are the modular building parts that you could just mix and match together. They even got the windmill modular. Nice. I like it a lot. And here's some examples of here's one we made earlier, kind of examples. So you've got a section here, added onto a section there. Put some window pieces on, uh, a little balcony, and jobs are good. So we can do that. Over here we've got the lamps, street lamps, and our flags and our signage. Good different variation here with the signage that we can use. Something every town needs. Our effects corner. This is the effects corner. Oh, <laughs> look at that wisp, a little wisp dancing in the air. That's brilliant. Look at that. That's lovely. It's really nice. The smoke is. That's actually really. Had some of the nicest looking cartoon smoke I've seen on the asset store. Hey, it's really nice. You can sell that just by itself. Um, water. So simple and effective. We didn't really acknowledge it earlier. Oh, cartoon. Hey, I like that. The outlines. Did you get like mush your face up? You know, you can. It's not too great, but we're at this kind of distance, it's good. Likewise with the flowers, a good selection here of flowers we're getting in this pack. What do I think of this pack then? Well, you know what? I am really happily surprised with this pack. Really am. I'm, got, I'm thinking of ideas of what we're going to do with it. Here's the food, are you hungry? Have a sausage. Have a sausage. Eat a sausage with some bacon and a steak. And here we can see the different levels of the food growing then. So here's... here's <laughs> that's a big one. And we don't have any non-roots hanging out of them though, so that's, uh, that's a shame. Uh, we don't have any rotten ones either, so that's a shame as well. 
We've got bread in different stages of being cut up and eggs in different stages of being boiled and eaten. So that's a nice cheese. Bananas, a bunch of bananas or a single banana. Bunch of bunch of grapes. Single grape? No. Oh yeah we do. Is this a, there you go, it's a single grape over here. That's nice. A lemon even go to the they've even gone to the effort of slicing the lemons for you. <laughs> you could you ask for more. You can ask for more, can you? So normally this is a cent shy of fifty dollars. Currently on fifty percent off if you are lucky enough to get this on a sale. Uh, otherwise, yeah, fifty dollars. Oh, is it? Is this worth fifty dollars full price? Well, actually, you know, what? I'm surprised. I am surprised. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to get. A lot more variation than I thought it was going to get. I would like, maybe, I'm being greedy, a bit more on the modularity, really, on the buildings. I like give us a, the wall sections, maybe, so we can make it a little bit more customized. I would like. Um, I don't like the fact that this windmill is one-sided there's no need for that because you know if I want to have this on something else that I'll be looking from here I'm not, not keen that it's a one-sided I'll have to stick a two-sided shader on those that's the solution stick a two-sided shader and the job is done I like here see exactly my point they've illustrated my point for me if I'm in the game running around like this I can see through them however if I'm over here that's what they look like so yeah that's the one gripe I found on there and along with the fact that I want to have the walls maybe a bit more granular in the modularity I love this smoke I am a massive fan you know, they've chosen a Pope that's how good the smoke is they've chosen the Pope so from Tidal Flask over on the Unity Asset Store get it while you can it's currently on a sale and I am really chuffed it's a lovely pack it's very beautiful art style really think it's very pretty and it goes up goes really well with some other assets like the ones from six games as i mentioned i'm going to be throwing them in together and playing them out so if you do like these videos and want to see more click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below tell all of your friends around the people on the street that the messy coder is well it's in a fantasy world so if you do like it click it until next time if you want to see more of my crazy videos click on the left side of your screen now and down below there's that big juicy subscribe button and right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.